Yo, yo, welcome, my scrubs, to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, episode two. As always, you guys freaking smashed. You smashed the like button so hard. You guys went way over 30k likes in like one day, I think so. Wow, guys, you know what to do. Smash like, come on. We can do it. 30k likes, episode three will be unlocked. Last episode, we pl I played like two hours last episode. We got most, we got most of the character introductions. These character introductions to this game are always so freaking long. But before we get back into episode two, we continue on this journey, which I know will be a journey. Let me slip into something a little more comfortable. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling pretty warm right now. Oh wait, you didn't think I'd forget about the, the coffee, did, did that? <laughs> did you? Mm. Oh my God. For some reason, today's coffee tastes better. If you're wondering how I got any of this stuff, you might want to check out yesterday's video that I put out. It was very interesting, so hopefully we see Monokuma today. I ain't even gonna lie though, this is actually comfy as heck. This is, thank you guys. All right, we gotta get through these character introductions and hopefully see Monokuma. I really don't even know if Monokuma is in this game, but I, I think so. We got, I think we got some hints last episode, so I'm excited. So another baseball player over here. That's what I'm gonna guess. How they even make this big A wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. I wonder what'll happen now if we can't escape then. What? What? You complaining? Huh? Listen up. Quit complaining and grumbling, or it'll turn into a habit. Oh my God, we have like Taka over here, basically. Yeah. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Um, universe. Got it. Oops, I haven't introduced myself. My bad. I am <laughs> the universe. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. He's an astronaut, like he's been to space. He's a little young. I, I don't know. I feel like you have to be like older and more wise or something. I don't know. What do I know? How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. Well, of course, not just anyone can get up there. <laughs> it's I'm amazing. That's why I got up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I thought so. I thought it was a little young. Oh, I see. So you're still a trainee. No. But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Then how did you take it? So... I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. <laughs> wow. You're expelled, dude. Oh, That's illegal. <laughs> a yeah. lot of things about Danganronpa is illegal. <laughs> yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep crap. But the people up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Of course, I aced the exam too. Jeez. That's reckless. Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. Now, no way I can wait till after college. I want to get a space to space as fast as I can. But you sure have a lot of energy. Yeah, everyone told me that it was impossible, but I never gave up. Not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them for yourself. Hey, yeah, because I have this on. No limits. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Let's do it. There are no walls you can't get over. The same goes for that Could one. Be... So you have any ideas? Shut up! That's not the problem. <laughs> um, no, that is the problem. In fact, geez, this guy sure talks a big game. All right, so he ain't gonna be no help at all. Great, fantastic. What are these containers though? These everything's so interesting here. I want to know if that's uh, to what's that city called? To Toba City? I don't know. We don't. I know zero about this game. I'm just excited about these graphics. I mean, they definitely improve the visuals of this game and the transitions. It's just so nice. All right, we got Buff Sakura Man over here. Let's uh, he wow, that looks like a, a boy version of Sakura. Look how tight his pants are. He's barefoot. What the heck? <laughs> oh no, this guy's gonna murder us all. I can see it in his eyes. Whoa, this guy looks scary. He, uh, he's so big and muscular. Um, uh, uh, Sumi Masen. Huh? Huh? Thank you. Oh. Huh? Thank you. Sorry. Sorry for scaring. Um. Uh, Ganta scary looking. What? <laughs> Most people not want to talk to Ganta when meeting for a first time. He talks like a caveman. He talks like, uh, he talks like Kevin off the office when he doesn't want to waste any time. Why say mini word when you can say small word or whatever he says? Cause going to gentlemen. <laughs> so like, does he really talk like this? I, I did not. I would have expected it from this guy. So like gentlemen, Ganta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Ganta. Yeah. You know, if you just said a few more words, you're not going to waste any, you're just saving a microscopic amount of time. When me be rich, you see. <laughs> um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem scary at all. The big people, <laughs> they're always like so nice in these games. All right, Ganta need to make introduction. 
Um, um Gonta name is Gonta. Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Well, he ain't okay. So he's not the ultimate speaker. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. What Gonta is it? want to become gentlemen. Becoming true gentlemen. Gonta's goal. <laughs> Gonta. I love Gonta. Okay. I see. That's a really cute name. Huh? Really? Thank you. Oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly for me for being scared at first. Maybe. Oh, going to scary looking, huh? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's not what I. No, no is okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta's called scary since he was kid. Um. Since you were a kid, huh? Oh. Uh, kid oh, Gonta see. bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. I, it's so hard not to talk that way. So kid Gonta play alone. That's how Gonta come to like bugs. But when Gonta really focus, it easy to lose track. One day, going to go to a forest to find bugs and up lost. I see. That sounds rough. When were you able to find? Uh, were they able to find you right away? Mm. Yeah. Uh, took ten years though. <laughs> took ten years. That's why I not speak right correctly. I know school. Huh? Ten years. But but going to find new family took care of going to. Hmm. I see. I'm glad they were nice people. Um. Oh, not people wolves. I have bears. <laughs> Monokuma. Huh? Wolves? But, but they really nice wolves. Cause though for his family, Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. So we got the Tarzan up in this game now. Alright, very interesting. Thanks. Gonta wanna show Forest family what great gentleman Gonta is. How is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? This place is strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Huh? Wait, really? I I suppose it's understandable that there are no animals but no insects? That's strange. Not even one bug. I mean... You like bugs too? Amazing. Hey, what's your favorite bug? What you like about them? Oh my god, he got that was actually terrifying. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Ah, uh, no, no, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Wait. Then you hate bugs? Oh yeah, that's you do not want to say that to Ganta. Huh? What? what you hate bugs? That's not true. Um, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Shuichi? Yeah, of course. I love bugs. Mmm, bugs in my mouth. <laughs> thank goodness. Oh, okay, thank that good. No bad person likes bugs. Okay, well, I ain't gonna tell them that spiders scare the living crap out of me, so. That was scary. Yeah, I thought you were gonna die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. I feel like most people hate bugs, but you you don't say that's a Gonta. Well, now it makes sense that he was barefooted. That makes, like, way, way more sense. Okay, so, obviously, freaking someone blocked that off, so we ain't going that way. What the heck is this? Is this a ninja statue? It looks like one, but why is it here? Seriously, there are so many odd things. Too many odd things. Alright, so it's a cage in a cage. Alright. What is this gonna be like the key to the end of the game? It's like if you take this cage off, it'll take the art cage off. I can see it. Okay. Last character? I think? Yaha! How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Alright. Ain't surprised. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit happy considering the situation we're, we're in right now. There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta live every day like it's your bright, cheery, and fun. Oh, so says Atua. Huh? Atua? I... The god of my island. Atua is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Well, she's certainly devout. Um, do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh... I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But uh, Uta is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. So divine! Okay. I see. I don't know what that means, but okay. I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? Um, Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly uh, similar to putting out the trash or pick up <laughs> garbage. <laughs> but, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint of two of your blood. Oh! Yeah, like the blood man who comes to your door every day. Everyone knows about these things, right? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. See? I see. What about you then? Huh? No, I think I think Shuichi probably wants to keep his blood. Uh, yep. A boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Offering. Come on, come on. It won't hurt one bit. Uh, Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't run away. This girl's so weird. So far, I gotta say Gonta. Gunta. Favorite character so far. He said less words. I read less. Read less good. Oh, don't tell me I gotta talk to more people. How many how many characters we got? I gotta level up. I don't even know what it does. Oh no, we're missing one character. Where? So for all these characters, they, they seem very interesting. I uh I like I like her. She mm, I don't know what's a thing. I really don't know what's a thing. So far I like Gonta and I think he looks cool. Oh wait, I could go this way. 
I don't even see this over here. Diny Hall? Oh, it's blocked up. Okay, we're not going that way. But if it's not Hope's Peak, then what is it? Oh, oh my god, look at this! Another spoiler! What the heck? Yeah, Monokuma's definitely here. He's here with us. And I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. You know, never mind, it's a bad thing. It's always a bad thing. Wait, there's gotta be an exit? Oh, we have to look for an exit. Let's go to the dormitory. Oh, duh, they have to be in here. Makes sense. Oh, this is where we all stay! Well, that makes sense. That's what a dormitory is. This building is round and has a lot of smaller rooms Very inside. Nice to see you again. Right, here comes the Cub Scouts. <laughs> Very nice to see you again. Well, hello, Bear. You're intruding. Sorry to intrude. Uh, what is it this time? What do you mean by intruding? Because this is your home, you bastards. <laughs> we finished setting up the showers, so now you can go pee. Pee in the showers? Why don't they just use the toilets? Even for number two? <laughs> well, you guys go. You guys don't go number two in your in your shower. Saves a lot of time. Wait, do you go number two in your shower? That's gross. So long, farewell. That's all they wanted to say. I got a feeling they're all gonna morph combined and it's gonna turn into Monokuma. What do you mean, our home? You mean for us to live here? See, there are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us. Stop it. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Uh, you gonna? <laughs> you gonna stay, whether you like it or not. Okay. Who's this? But I failed to see their objective. Uh, what do you mean? If they're holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather that they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. It's for TV, probably. Yeah, are we being- are we being recorded again? I say we like I'm in the freaking game, but you get what I'm saying. I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? That's- what's the reason? Pardon me, I have not introduced myself yet. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. She got spider webs on her shirt. The ultimate maid. Okay, okay. I already, I already know what's gonna go on right now. She's gonna kill someone, and she's gonna get away with it too, because she can just clean it up. She's so good at cleaning. She's so good at cleaning dead bodies, that is. Oh, oh wait. I've heard of Kirumi uh, to Tojo? To Toho? An ultimate with an incredible intellect and strength working as a private maid. I heard that her work is so perfect she can complete any request given to her. She's that amazing? Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but it was impossible. I rejected it. What the heck? What kind of maid are you? You won't even eliminate a rival nation? Wow. Dude, you're fired. I've also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to several foreign dig I dignitaries. I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. But you're being hired by so many important people, you're like a super maid. Moving on, what do you intend to do now? Hmm. That's a tough question. Um, what should we do? Um, what would you do, Kirumi? I, do not agree. I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. I am a maid. As a maid, I have my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. So please think about what you desire for yourself and that what you desire for me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she is the ultimate maid after all. I don't see what being a maid... I don't know, she's way more than a maid, it seems like. Ding dong, bing bong, woo! <laughs> I'm so excited. I have been waiting for some good, just good old fashioned ding dong and bing bong, and I really have. Kaede, look the mirror. Monitor, not a mirror. Thanks for pairing with us. Dude, they gotta stop with these puns. Uh, everyone, make your way to the gym, please. The opening ceremony can finally begin. Okay, I hope, I really hope Monokuma shows up now. You do realize that you just read your lines backwards, don't you? I see this game also, you know, has a great balance of dark and, and like comedy as well. Jim, opening ceremony. What? Hey. All right, let's go. We know we're gonna go. I'm skipping this. They're just gonna. It's just a lot. Of, we should go. Should we go? I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll we'll probably die. I mean, these rooms are interesting. It's like a kind of like a prison. To the gym, everyone. Bro, I feel like falling asleep in this thing. Hey, I'm just waiting for that first murder. Whenever that happens, that's when it's about to go down, my scrubs. Okay, go this way. This should be it. Do you agree? Agree with what? It's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gathered together. You may not be able to be so easy going for much longer. Uh, in this situation, it's no use thinking about things, so eventually Tsumugi stopped thinking. Uh, what's gonna happen to us? I bet it's a big pain. Hmm. What are you looking at? Himiko! 
Himiko, you can use your amazing powers, right? Because you're a psychic and stuff, it's right? Magic. It's I'm a mage. Ah! Well, that's amazing. I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Akito. Hey, what sort of trading did you undergo to gain your awesome powers? Mm -hmm. Talking about it's so tiring. <sighs> You're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. Uh, we don't know if we'll if danger will strike or when it will strike. Don't. don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. It'll be okay. There's no need to worry. Atua will protect us. Oh, Phew, that's a relief. Fucking moron. If uh, is there, oh my god, she's like Mondo mixed with Akane mixed with yeah, basically that. Is your brain full of weeds or something? I'll walk them out of your skull of yours. Don't worry about it. I'll knock your teeth out. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves, I'll kick all their butts. Don't wonder. What? 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 That? What's wrong? See? Listen. Hear that? Huh? I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Uh, wow. And what a coincidence it is. Hi. Yeah. Who the heck's Ursine? Why do you keep saying that? Oh, I can't skip this. Okay. Everyone! <laughs> Behind going to what? what are these monsters? Wow. So cool, Kokichi. Oh, so Hell cool. Yeah. Please say the word existle so I can know how to say it. <laughs> Hi the mobile bipedal weapons. What are you saying? I keep I can't keep track of these backstories. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the Uggos and save me for last. Hey. <laughs> Run, Himiko! Why are you so concerned about me all of a sudden? <laughs> I think that was a roast. Uh, didn't someone say they would kick their butts? Oh. Well, nobody told me about these. It's okay. Uh, all right, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. We got cool boy Rontaro over here. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. With that, Rontaro casually walked up to the Existles. So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess. You're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we get hurt. That means well, you have our attention. What do you want? And that's that. Well, aren't you a wise guy? I'll start us off. Listen up. Here's what we want you punk bits to do. <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm gonna say it. You ready? Heck yeah, it's a... Killing game. Huh? What? You say... How dare you upstage me? Huh? Oh wait, did that one finally talk? Wait a second. What did you say? Hmm. If I heard him correctly... It's a killing game. Mon Mono Dam is finally talking. And that's his first words. He said it again. Gosh dang it, Monadam. I'm gonna crush you with here this year, Exisle. Ah, uh, come on. We don't have time to fight it amongst ourselves. Okay. If you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here, Exisle. You too, Monotaro. If this is what it's gonna come to, then I will crush you, the four of you, with this here, Exisle. Please stop saying this freaking confusing word. Why are you including me? Oh, well. It's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. There we go, cutscene time. Go, jabroni. <laughs> jabroni. Who you calling jabroni? Jabroni. <laughs> what is it? I, I love these like references. What'd you say, jabroni? I'll bow down anytime, jabroni. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> they get all their their insults from the rock. Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. Okay, let's see Otua could freaking protect you when someone's about to put a knife in your back. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here or else... Now, now, now. Woo! <laughs> yeah! What? I want the real one. My cute little cousin. <gasps> you gotta knock off this awful fight. Dude, I look like such a weeb right now. <laughs> oh, that boy! <laughs> <laughs> he makes his grand entrance. Father. Oh my God, Monokuma's got kids. Papa Kuma. Bro, he has hair on his chest. Daddy. <laughs> okay. Huh? Daddy. Yeah, you're gonna give him a cutscene. At that moment, the lights at the gymnasium have suddenly shut off. Here we go. Wow, it's just like the first game. What the heck? It's almost identical. He's an angel! There he is! <laughs> I am the god of this new world! <laughs> oh god, that voice. <laughs> of the Ultimate Academy! The one! The only! Monokuma! Yeah! Woo! Nice to meet ya! 
I wanna who's the mom then? Hell yeah! Another epic interest from Papa Kuma. Hello. The daddy is so cool. My widow cubs. <laughs> the way he's shaking. You're all so freaking cute. The only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute. Yes. Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are cute. In fact, your very first prologue was only ever short because you cutie patooties weren't there. Pops. Are you mad at us? Don't be, Don't be an idiot. I would never get mad at my cute little cubs. <laughs> he is mad. But daddy is still cool even when he's angry. That's right. Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that gets cooler as they get angrier. It's getting Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4. What the heck? How many times do I gotta say it? I'm not mad! Dude, he just murdered his children. Ah, father just transformed into a super monokuma god, super monokuma! <laughs> I, I will never know the technology behind monokuma and how it works. That's only possible when six monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. <laughs> what? I love all these uh, anime references. Hey, how old are you? A power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. Anyway, I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You guys really stand out for the rest of the second generation failures in the world. No way. Is that a, isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but I can't think of any though. It's like dictator and Monokuma or what? Well, father remembers because he knows everything. Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma. You know all kinds of useless crap. <laughs> every time one of the, every time like even if it was Monomi or anyone else, like every time they're just getting pummeled, completely like slaughtered, they're just like, we are getting hit. <laughs> it's just so nonchalant. I wonder if it's because they're robots. Because Daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names and fake news. I love embracing my children. They're so cute. I just can't help myself. Usually ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. <laughs> yeah. But in this case, ratings are through the roof all thanks to the cute monocubs. What is this? What's going on? Another teddy bear appeared. Yeah, but no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. And you'd be right. You'd be right. Well, first... Oh, I thought, what, oh, I, thought I was going to voice act. First of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. It shows some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Headmaster? It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI like me. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but the excesses are different, though they're brainless buckets of bolts. Right. They're mindless pretty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the Monocubs. <laughs> autonomous robots piloting weapons platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. Actually. Well, that might be, but what I'm worried about is the killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? <laughs> How? Uh, what's, what is so amusing? Yeah. I just want to know, is this game just a game? <laughs> it's all just a game. I swear, like, I, I would actually be pretty disappointed if it turns out, like, this whole story is, like, meaningless in the end. I haven't really got any clues that, that suggests is that, like, that's gonna happen. I just hope it's not, because I feel like that'll be a little lazy. Like, then maybe there's a purpose in number two, but... I really want to know some 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 real story in this one, considering this is the last game. It's just, when I said it before, I kind of just phoned it in now, and I feel awkward. I want you students with the ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game. Huh? Killing game? Us? Please stop. Stop joking. Why would you agree to participate in a killing game? You guys don't want to do it? Don't what? Do that? <laughs> of course not. Gentlemen, not hurt people. But if you looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge ball. You can't escape to the outside world. And as long as we have the existals, you can't defy us. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So do what you say if you don't want us to die, or we don't want to die. Why would friends kill each other? Who said you guys were friends? You guys, you guys don't know. This is the, this is like the fourth game in the series. You guys aren't friends at all. Your enemies out to kill each other. You will be. We're enemies? Hmm, I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All this talking is bugging the crap out of me. I gotta beat up Monodam to relieve the stress. 
but I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Um, Daddy, instead of ki a killing game, could we do rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's much better. <laughs> much better. You stupid. Uh, who'd want to play a game where no one dies? Well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute, I can barely stand it. I'm actually really disappointed he didn't make a bear pun right now. Why, it's cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I want to eat it. Ew, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, Monica. What, what are you saying? I want to ask something. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? What the heck, man? What are you asking? We need to get info from the first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. Weapons? Hmm. What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why, at the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, the killing game is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. Sophisticated? Yes, here. The killing game is uh, punctuated by class trials. Class trials. Let us explain. Well, I think right, we know. So if one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. Hey, watch your language. After that, it's voting time. And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, then only the blackened killer will receive p p punishment. Okay, so it's the same. So, girl, just imagining all the blood and gore makes me want to puke. Hey, don't act like you're not After evil. After the blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. Then we can get but a sausage pizza. If you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, you will the die. Gets off scot free, and all the spotless students get punished instead. Yeah, that never happens, by the Hell way. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Woo-hoo-hoo! Ow! What the heck is it talking? What is this new- What is this new sprite? It's cursed. Ah, uh, too much. That explanation revealed way too much. You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, like your old man. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Hey, um... The point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the class trial. All right, it's, it's gonna be a stretch for freaking Junko to somehow... Okay, somehow be in this game. You you tell me she gotta be here somehow. I mean, she's been in every single game, so like she's gotta be. How should I put this? Kill without being caught and then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. You think so? Then the outside must be masterfully designed, even at its cruelest. Uh, one can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Yeah. It's an execution. Huh? Execution? What? If you do a crime, you get punished for it. That's like the most basic rule of society. Yeah. But this is a killing game. So the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent. I would say it's for the most permanent in real life Hell too. Oh yeah! Uh, what kind of punishments will there be, you ask? Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff that gives me a raging Come on. Yeah? Monica, you already- Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> get a rock hard Let, Let's get off this subject right now, okay? Oh, He's talking about his guitar, I'm sure. Blood, you got the brain? <laughs> she threw up. <laughs> Mona Fanny just puked. She's- Shut up, man! <laughs> Puke give- <laughs> Dude, stop. Stop it, game. <laughs> you kids are just adorable. What? What is so cute about that? There's nothing cute about that. All right, I'm over this boring exposition. Let's get this heart pounding killing school, school, school semester started already. You have free reign to murder however you like, too. Like bludgeoning or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try strangulation. <laughs> Feeling lazy? Try poisoning. I feel like Monokuma is like more. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting on some Michael Jackson levels over here. <laughs> Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crash, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death. <laughs> I love the voice acting though. I mean, Monica has got a good voice actor though. I think it's the same voice as Aku Ag Agumon or Akumon from um, Digimon. You can can I? I don't even know if I can do a voice like that. To kill anybody you like. Any way you like. <laughs> you can use any method. <laughs> this is my serious voice. You can use any method you like to kill. <laughs> any what you like. Any way you 
like. At the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. <laughs> Sixteen oh God. teenage prodigies, all competing Ooh. for first place in a killing game. It's like on, he's on the verge of Mickey Mouse and Michael Jackson. It's like if they fused. Kind of probably looked like this too. Who knows? No better setting for an event like this than me. <laughs> Well, I'm a real boy. You got me. Killing school game, it's like a game. Not risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. Right. It doesn't seem like okay, it's getting hot. I ain't gonna lie. I was comfy, but now I'm hot. How come there ain't no green or black monokumas? Just saying. How could you degenerates be so calm? <laughs> this has gotta be a lie, right? This can't, can't be true. Every every Dong and Rampa character. A lie, more like fiction. Like a story on TV. It probably most likely is on direct TV right now. A scenario is removed from reality. We can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I never do that. <laughs> well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's gonna be a problem. We're gonna have a bad time. Cause the killing game is the only reason you're here. What? Unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Uh, Wait, Gino. just a minute. Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do That's it. Wrong. We're friends and we're best friends and we love each other. I'll do it. <laughs> Whatever you have planned, I'm not gonna let you get away with it. Um, Kaede, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. That's no, no, nice. I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. What do you mean by that? Everyone loves that kind of brutality in a death game, especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I just get unbearably pumped up. Monica, you gotta stop. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. <laughs> oh, God. It's even worse. There's so many of them watching us. So, are they all being controlled? I mean, I, I would just assume at this point that they're all AI. Uh, they're all, they're all uh, freaking Junko AI. Cause like, that's already a thing that's possible, so why not? We stood in the dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Oh, this is interesting. Everything about the situation was so messed up. I was gonna say, when's it gonna stop? Imagine it just keeps going, hits her. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. 16 ultimate students, mysterious stuffed bears and deadly- Oh, they're, they're not stuffed. And new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. Hey, there that intro. I was looking for that. Always gotta love the style of Danganronpa, baby. I look forward to whatever twists and turns are gonna happen. Kayade. Snazzy. Ultimate revival. End. Oh, so that was the prologue. Yeah, dude, that took me. That took me an hour just to get through this. Oh, okay. Uh, ultimate or obtain present. Ultimate academy for gifted juveniles badge. After Monokuma and the Monokubs left, <laughs> the alarm was going off throughout the whole gym. 
Which meant everyone else had received a mono pad as well. All right, so now we're gonna go through the rules now, okay? Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of the foreseeable future. Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial. If the Blacken is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the black, yeah, we, 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 we know, we know, all right. The killing game in the class trials will continue only until two surviving students remain. Oh, has that ever been explained before? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. The dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. Violence towards the Monokumas and the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy is strictly prohibited. Monokumas will never directly commit a murder. Or Monokuma. Your mo what about the Monokubs? You didn't say nothing about them. Your monopads are very important uh, items. Please do not damage them. The body discovery announcement will play when there's three or more students discover a body. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Students who violate these rules will be immediately exterminated by the Existles. Alright, so that's most likely going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm certain of it. The headmaster may add new regulations to this list at any you time. gotta be kidding me. I will never, I will never you participate will. in a killing You will! You'll game. do it with a smile on your face. Chapter 1, my class trial, our class trial, not mine, daily life. The ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, school regulations, so these are the rules. How? I do not understand why someone would force us but... to do that. But the rules are pretty cut and dry, this game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. Are you kidding me? That's not the problem. Listen. Please lower your voice, it's ruining the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. What does the sixth regulation mean? The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Only two surviving students? What would be the reason for that? Perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial with just two people? I see, I see. Oh, okay. Always messing around. Quit screwing around, killing game, school regulations. Don't screw around. Tech with all that crap, who would go along with something like this? Kaido raised the monopad as if to smash the device on the ground. Oh, hey, now, don't do that. School rules say you can't break mm. it. If you bite, yeah, he'll be killed. Is what? he gonna be the first one? I don't- Oh, he's gonna die. I don't care about the rules. No way I'm gonna play this messed up no. game. This isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to disobey him now. Yeah. Forget about him. It just means one less dumb meh for the world to deal with. Who are you calling that? I took a deep breath and shouted with all my might. Oh, hey, quit fighting already! Whoa. Hey, step her down now. What the? Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves right now. We need to work together. We need mm. unity! Honestly, I'd probably be more inspired. It'd probably be more inspiring if I played a, a song that gave a speech. Mm -hmm. Chopin's military polonaise. <laughs> Should <laughs> I've read that wrong? Would definitely help uh, unite us. I could get behind some bolognese, bologna, <laughs> and I don't even like meat or tomatoes. I agree with Kaede too. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me the strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Anyways, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm like me. <laughs> She's all like shaky. They're shaking so much! Even I can't handle these intense vibrations, and trust me, I've got low. Uh. Hey. Anyway, why don't we what are moving on? Why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? And we looked all over that wall. There wasn't a single hole. Please wait. Well, I mean there was big old bars, but hey, you know, whatever. Now wait just a second. If there's no opening in the wall, then how do we get inside these walls in the first place? Uh -huh. Good point. Got it? That means there must be some uh, opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each oh, other. Right. So let's show them what we uh, that we're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna fight each other. We're gonna work together, okay? Okay, everyone? We're all we're all in agreement, right? Oh, I just got stabbed. <laughs> Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary, you made your case with such a sick tint suck 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 a plump. Yeah, no, you, you're not even speaking English right now. That would have been uh, rendered uh, speechless. That we would have been written. That we've been rendered speechless. I was gonna say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Got it. You're exactly right. We can't give up so come easily. On, come on. Let's split up and try to find the exit. Ooh. Oh, Utu At Atua gives us strength. Wow, I must admit, I admire your hey. spirit. Oh wait. Uh -huh. What is it? You were just about to get started? Um. Maybe it not matter much, but going to find manhole earlier. Grass behind school building. Huh? Going to good job. A manhole. Mm. Going to peek in, see big underground passage. <laughs> wow. But sorry is probably not so simple. <laughs> You're gonna mention a porn stuff like that. <laughs> Going to peek in, see big underground passage. Think baby exit. Uh, no. Wait, not like that. You're talking too fast. No the boiler is behind the school's building. We must cooperate. Gonta's claim at once. Gonta, please lead the Gaunt. way. Okay, everyone, follow Gonta. 
Gunta, do good. With Gunta leading us, we hurried out of the gym. All right, let's go. Heidi, that was pretty cool back huh? there. What How was? Should I put this? The way you changed the mood completely seems like everyone looked up to you. Aww. Looks up to me? Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke out from my heart, that's all. I can't believe I haven't mentioned to her Ahoge. Ahoge, she's definitely the main character, so we know that. She's not gonna like randomly die. She's definitely the main character. Anyone with that antenna will survive. Uh, that's pretty much a given in any Donk and Rapa game, and they will always have hope. That's what you always know. So unsure. So it just comes naturally to you then. That's even more cool. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. Huh? Hey, I like you. Don't be weird. Don't be weird as I drink from this. Hmm. I was just thinking what you said back there would have pissed uh, off whoever's running this. They definitely don't want us to be holding hands, working together. Sure. They're gonna come for you, Kaede, with everything they've got. I'm a little worried about you. You're just so straightforward. And away he goes. That guy could really stand to be less cryptic. That's true. Ah, perhaps it's a warning? That's what I think anyway. Being strong-willed could get you into a lot of trouble around here. Sorry. Wait, how would he know? I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time mm. like this. It's fine, you only say that because you're worried, aren't you? But... Yeah, Rontaro is a mystery, so he forgot his ultimate talent as well. Is that something you could really forget? Mm -hmm. Well, there's no use thinking about it right now. We should just head to the manhole. Okay. You're right. How does Gunta even know what a manhole is? Is that his name? <laughs> his name's Gunta now. I want to see a twist like no other. I'm hoping that we get like a good change in the story. You know? It's like, we need something big. Hey, what the heck are you doing? They're like breaking this stuff up. Are they the ones like redoing the school? I keep thinking they remind me of um, the Mono Beasts, but the Mono Beasts weren't even real, so it doesn't matter. Hey, what's this over here? That, that looks up. Uh, that looks pretty important. Sure, we'll find out later. Hey, what the heck is this? What? Attain hit- Oh, these are the hidden Monokumas now? Well, that- that looks quite fancy, doesn't it? Hidden challenge. That one, uh, wasn't very hard to find. Hey, I can't believe how fast we are. It's insane. Looks like we're all here, so where's this manhole? Um. Over there, in grass. It's true, there really is a manhole in the grass. <laughs> An important hole near some bush. Sounds from Oh... <laughs> I mean, I don't understand. I don't know what she's talking about. This manhole cover looks, uh, heavy. Can we even lift Leave it? To me. I can try. Akiba placed his hands on the manhole cover with all the strength and he... My apologies. How embarrassing. <laughs> it won't even budge. Uh -huh. A robot's not even strong enough to move Listen it? Closely. Don't worry, my physical strength is approximate to that of a strong senior citizen. Piece of shit! <laughs> so let me get Gunta over there, man. The professor did not want to repeat of, of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. Now I'm just playing curious about what happened during that trial. Gunta. Then allow Gunta, or Gunta, lift cover before two peek inside. Should be able to pick up cover too. Gunta places his hands on the manhole cover and... He's gonna throw that thing like a fri- Oh my god, like a frisbee! Yeah, do not mess with Gunta. That's what we learn. So easily? His strength must be due to my magic. Yep, there's no mistaking it. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh, you're amazing, Himiko! What should Gunta do with cover now? Use it as coaster. Please leave it somewhere else. Be careful not to hit anyone with it. Um, actually, Gonta no can do that. Very rude. To if Gonta can, if Gonta cannot litter, then you cannot litter too. Gonta no speak, but he not he good person. With nowhere to dispose of the manhole cover, Gonta begrudgingly tossed it aside. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. Okay, so he's amazingly strong. What wonderful strength. You could uh, likely crush a child's skull with ease. Why is it- why is it gotta be a child? Gonta never do that! How ungentlemanly! Never- Gonta never do that! So the game is obviously setting up for him to like- He wouldn't murder anyone. He's so gentle. So you think. Watch, someone's gonna say, hey, I, like, someone's gonna accidentally step on a bug. He's gonna go off. Watch. Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. But Gonta's so much more reliable than some bean-counting robot. Mm. Are you talking about me because I count many things, not just beans? <laughs> or because I can. <laughs> While everyone else was speaking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was too dark to see clearly, but I could feel cold, uh, moist air drifting up from it. Wait a minute. We're in the boiler room? I was gonna say, in Dog and Rompin 1, there was a manhole too, wasn't there? Actually... This place is kind of creepy. We're really gonna go what? in there? Ah, sure, it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down I'll there. You. If anything happens, I'll protect most of you, but the degenerate males are all on their Go own. To protect you. <laughs> Going to protect menfolk. That's true. Awfully quiet. Where are the Monokuma and the Monokubs? I, yeah. I was certainly I was certain that they would show up at some point and crush us like rotten gnats. <laughs> they probably haven't even noticed yet. I see. Then let's hurry before they show up to mess with us. 
One by one, we each descended down into the manhole. Once we all climbed down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. Nah, there's cameras down here. He's definitely been down here. Exit? <laughs> wow, okay. It's more spacious than I thought it'd be. What is it? They obviously knew we were gonna find this place. That is correct. An old industri industrial passageway. I suspect perhaps factories once existed ah. here. Uh, that's all that's right. left of them. Hey, take a look at this. Looks like something off of Looney Tunes. Uh, what a considerate sign. Apparently, the end of the tunnel is the exit. Um, Consider it. You don't think it's weird that someone went out of the way to write exit? <laughs> don't piss yourself in fear. Your natural scent is bad enough. I'm not scared. I just... And I smell fine. Then go on ahead. No point standing around here. Yeah. yeah. No need to worry. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates here. Yeah, right. As long as we work together, everyone will work out just fine. Yeah, when something attacks you, Kaede, just use your piano playing skills to ward off the enemies. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're right. Well That's exactly what I was gonna say. We're really on the same wavelength, Kaede. Give him a hug. Or give me a hug. No. Uh, Typical gen- males. You were trying to trick her into pressing her bobs against you. That's <laughs> sus, man. That's sus, man. I don't feel good with that poison being down here, but please don't make me talk to like 150 students. Oh, yep, I gotta talk to everyone. All right. So it was an exit. Gunta glad he tell everyone. Come on, everyone. Gunta protect you. All right, I'm gonna talk to all of them until something happens. Oh, we had to go to the. Okay, I clicked the wrong thing. It'll probably be okay. There'll be an exit at the end of this, and once we reach it, this will all be over. I just know it. I clungly fierce. I clung fiercely to the belief that we stepped into the tunnel. You're about to take on the death's road of despair. What? We're gonna be playing some Mario? What? The objective is simple. Everyone works together to escape. Press. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm playing on a keyboard, but okay. You'll encounter plenty. You'll encounter plenty of traps. If you hit a trap or fall off a ledge, that person will be eliminated. Like for no, not for reals, right? If everyone is eliminated, game over, man. Game over. All right. Hey. Okay. Hey, I'm excited. Hey, we got some of that uh, Ultra Despair Girls. This is interesting. I just want to see everyone. It, it really gives you a scale of how big freaking Gonta is. Wait, do I open it? Oh, <laughs> we're opening it. Go ahead. I feel like I'm playing Pikmin. Bye, have a great oh, time. No! <laughs> She's dead. I just killed the main character of the game. Oh my god. Everyone better jump. Oh my god, really? Really? <laughs> so, I've already lost. Stop it! Dude, I've already lost. Like, oh, oh my god. Everything I do kills me. Okay. Okay. All right. We good. We good. Sorry. What do I do? Oh my god, I did so bad. Can I retry? Oh. Don't jump. D really? What kind of trap does that? They're killing us all! You know what we're basically playing right now? Freaking the Mario Cat. Everything kills you. It's awful. Okay, okay, that, that can't be good. That can't be good. Oh my god, there's only three left. That can't be good. I'm sorry. Let's have fun with this. Okay. Okay, Kokichi, Kokichi, you better. Dude, that rail's gonna kill me too. Oh no, <laughs> this is so bad. These are, are gonna you? be the goats. We're gonna do this. What if I'm supposed to jump in the water? Okay, that's a no. I forgot your name, but a little shorty, you're you're gonna do this, okay? This is awful. Okay. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Bro, I got a game over. What? Wait. As I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that I had somehow lost consciousness. Uh, are you feeling all right? You're awake. Are you all right? I'm fine, but what? Oh my god! Oh my god! Confirm this game freaking doesn't even—it's not even real. It's in a machine. I mean, it gave us that hint, but I now I'm really starting to think of it. The, hey, I know this game. Dong and Rapa is always trying to break the fourth wall, so that yeah. I can see it already. I looked around and saw the others sitting on the ground. Yo, you gotta let me retry that. I can do so much better. Jeez, this is quite a pity party, you sad sacks. Are throwing it for yourselves? Uh -huh. Monokuma? No, let me retry. What was at the end? That's, that's stupid. I want to reload the game. Wow, well, you all look exhausted. Poor things. I feel sorry for you. This place is filthy. It's murder on my cashmere skin. I bet Mod Monodam is feeling lucky right now. His body already is already a piece, a cheap piece of junk. Hey! Why don't you respond to him, Monodam? It'll liven things up a little bit, you know? <laughs> you, so you guys crawled out of your holes? I guess you finally noticed what we're up to. Noticed? We know for a while that you guys had botched whatever escape plan you had. Huh? What? Um, yeah, I also kind of pretty much knew too. What are you saying? That's a lie. Then... If you knew all along, then it was just a trap. Worse than the worst. Then there was no exit? You tricked Don't us. Worry. No, there's an exit. So. I think you guys managed to reach it if you all work together. Yay! 
Yeah, there's nothing you 16 ultimates can't uh, accomplish if you work together. If at first you don't succeed, try try again! Try as many times as you want until you finally accept reality. I will try again if you'll let me. So we can escape if we work hard enough. No way, you little moron. That'd be freaking out. They'd be freaking out if we could easily reach it. That's probably why they let us try. They wanted us to try the underground, the underground passage so we'd learn that escape is impossible. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, uh, they leave that a little bit of hope. They want us to be desperate to go home, corner us mentally. Actually, That's just rotten. You might be right. But, but we can't just give up. Yeah. Guys, we can do this. I mean, but we've only failed once, you know. We can't give up this early, okay. right? I really want to try that again. No, it's not. It may take one more try or a lot more tries, but it's not possible. Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what he says I'll to us. I don't want to lose him, and I don't want any of you to lose either. I refuse to lose to someone who would do terrible things to us. Right. Kayade. Mm -hmm. Let's work hard to escape this place. Once we get out of here and make it to the outside what? world, why don't we all stay friends? Um, friends? Yeah. Yeah, after going through the experience like this, I think we'd all be best of friends. Right? I mean, it's not every day you get to meet other ultimates. So what do you say? That might not yeah. be bad. Yeah, that's a great idea. Ben. Yeah, okay. Wait, wait, wait until so a few people die. Alright, so they just all want to work together. Please let me try it again. No! Oh, yes, it is letting me try again. Okay. Alright, now I know. I just gotta remember the things that are gonna kill me. It's that simple. Okay, so go through this one. Jump, walk. Now this one, they're gonna fall on me, so I don't. We're gonna have to lose someone. Hey, I'll take it. I'll try and take it. You know, so there are some ne necessary sacrifices that we have to make. That's okay. Even if it's the main character. All right. Hey, hey. I've already done a million times better already. Nope. Yeah. Leave it to me. Nope. Hey, hey. Oh no! Okay, one more. One more sacrifice can't be that bad. Oh, I can kind of like use people as a meat shield. Hey! Hey! What the heck? What the heck? Hey, boy! Okay, I feel good about this. Except, no, don't feel good about that. This is some bull crap! Okay, the game is supposed to be like this. I get it. It's stupid though because like they should only be able to kill the person I'm controlling, not everyone else. Okay, I can just wait here. I can just wait here. Oh, that's some bull crap. Well then, I was looking forward to a happy ending. Not yet, we're just getting started. Of course, this place, this will be a piece of cake. Gonta gonna escape, become friends with everyone, gentlemen, never give up. This time, this time we'll reach the exit. Those words carried me as I stepped to the tunnel once again, but... It was no good. Even so, we refused to surrender. We kept telling ourselves that this time we'll escape, but we failed each time. No, you gotta let me try again. I, that is so annoying. But in the end, we couldn't do it. We thought we'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up, but it made no difference in the end. <sighs> failed again? Damn. Dang it. Seems like... I can't go on. That's wrong. Wait, we can't give up. This time we'll oh, you know. knock it off already. Huh? Like that. You're free to keep trying on your own, but forcing us to join you is basically torture. Uh, torture? It's so mean. You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up on an impossible situation. You won't let us give up no matter what we say. We have the moral high ground. Or you have the moral high ground. That doesn't sound like torture to you. When you say we can't give up, you're not inspiring us. You're strong arming us. That's wrong. I didn't mean it like hey, that. Degenerate male. Quit being so selfish. I'm not being selfish. The others feel the same way too. Huh? What? Look at him with his big words. Hey, come on, guys. Come on. Don't you want to try again? We only tried twice. My spirit is nearly broken. This hardship gnaws at me. Oh, okay. They're going to be the first ones to die then. Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. Yeah. I feel like Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball Dude, game. Dude, the, the, the little bit of hardship comes and you're going to give up on me. Okay. It's impossible from the start. This bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. I can't let you all rely on my magic. Besides, I don't have enough MP left. Shut up! <laughs> I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be, Tua Tua. Wait! We know can give up. Exactly, Gonta! Hey guys. You guys are really okay with not getting out of this place? We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's just find another way out, okay? Huh? What? No way. You're talking about the killing game, aren't you? Oh, so you'd rather kill everyone. You gotta be 
<laughs> Dude, this game is gonna be so unfair not letting me try again. <laughs> Calm down, want some bubble gum? You can blow pretty big bubbles with it. Oh, looks like this little degenerate wants to hit his head smash into the Great. ground. So, guys, we should be fighting. We f I love how he's just so small, but yet his voice is the deepest. We fell apart pretty quick for a group that decided to be friends with a work together. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. This is my fault. I'm so sorry. Uh, um, no, Kaede. Yeah, what are you apologizing for? It's not your fault at all. Mm -hmm. Really? I think it's Kaede's fault. What? Why? Ding dong, bing bong. Okay. This is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now nighttime. Dang, they spent that long? All right, go to the dining hall. Oh, wait, so we have to go home. All right, nighttime, huh? Well, no sense pushing our luck. We should probably just get a fresh start tomorrow. So they said that those two were off limits, but we don't have to actually go to our rooms. They never said we had to go to our rooms. Just saying. What fresh start. Think? We've been assigned a room in the dormitory. Perhaps we should rest there. <laughs> we're gonna rest there? Well, what do you, where else are you gonna rest in the sewer? Uh, the rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell, that's for sure. But it makes me nervous to think that we'll be staying- we'll be staying at the night- the night at this creepy okay. school. Well, nothing we can do but suck it up, so what's our plan for tomorrow? Since the dining hall opens at 8 a.m., why don't we meet there at- that's at that right. time? Sure, I think that'll work. I'm okay it's with that. Decided. Can we go to our rooms already? Either way. Yes, we should get as much rest as we can to regain our strength. I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. I'll come with you if you two don't mind. Just let me know. Wow. Hey guys, just as a warning, we shouldn't let our guards down. We'll be easy targets at night. Because of killing game, you mean? Please wait. I see. I see no need to worry about something as logical as murder taking place here. I know. I know. Just a warning. Okay. So yeah, my boy over here is logical. For you know, as you should be. I know. If I'm ever in a killing game, boy, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be careful. I really hope that would never happen though. Why did you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, you know. Well, when we tried to escape, I felt like we were united behind a common goal, but after I put everyone's lives at risk, they, the unity is gone now. Seriously? Shut Come up, on. that's just a stupid end result. It's not like you wanted it to, it to go that way. Listen up, don't apologize for something that's not your fault. It'll just make you feel bad. You know... Everyone just decided to blame you and give up. I'm, I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind later. <sighs> hey, this guy's kind of cool. Well, anyway, let's just get some sleep for now. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Kaito. I want to know if it's actually possible to pass that game, though. Okay, which one is my room? Let's go... Hey, these rooms are pretty nice, though. Look at that. Key? Uh, is this the key to this room? Oh, no. Not that one. You got it right. Nice work. That is, in fact, the key to this room. You probably don't have anything worth stealing in here. Please just still lock your door when you leave. Yeah. Now it's time for me to give you a special hint. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into the rooms and kill them easily. Uh -huh. have, have we always had keys before? I don't think... No, I don't think you have, huh? I don't want to hear that. I just got chewed out. Okay, so the keys are gonna be a new little little thing in here. Okay, the place is the worst. I just want to go home. We have phones. That's a little weird. And they got TVs. Ain't even that bad here. Closet. It's is it locked? Oh wait, there were uniforms that matched the one I was wearing. Lots of uniforms. Uh, of course, as as anime characters, you have to wear the same thing every day. You know that's the rules of an anime character. They prepared everything just to keep us trapped here, but why? I'm tired. As soon as my body hit the bed, my body immediately froze. After everything that had happened, I just forgot how physically, mentally exhausted I was. I thought we would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. That had always been my mentality whenever I practiced piano, but maybe playing piano is easier because I'm blessed with that talent. With Chopin's prelude playing in my head, I fell into a deep sleep. Right, please don't play it. Give me copyrighted. The Monokuma Theater. So I usually always skip these. Oh, okay. Maybe I won't skip this one. <laughs> it's like Leatherface. New students of the uh, Ultimate Academy. Congratulations. The weeds here have grown thick with joy as they've celebrated your entrance into this school. Seeing your anxious eyes uh, shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy. If you ever feel lost, don't be shy. Talking to your friends or a teacher. Let's all get along. Now let's do lots of killing too. I pray for the physical and mental well-being of this new skill and cool school semester. I mean, I pray for the well-being of you students. Yes, that will do. <laughs> what was up with that picture? That was cursed, man. Ding dong, bing bong. Oh, we gotta hear that announcement. Rising Shiner sign. Hey, I'm not. This was not my favorite. It's 8 a.m. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna miss the Monokuma's announcements, though. I really hope we get some more of those. So... I wonder who's dead this morning. Yeah. If I suddenly see a dead body, I'll puke again. Enjoy your killing school semester. It was awesome, terrible dream, huh? Wouldn't that be nice? Wait, I don't have time to joke around. I said I'd, be, I'd meet others in the dining hall. Let's go! Nah, there's no way someone would be dead that fast. There's definitely no motives yet. But that's interesting that they, they could steal each other's keys. 
Ah. All right, everyone seems to be alive. Now all of us have arrived. I'm glad. It looks as though there were no victims. Of course. By the way. Are you okay, Kaede? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you looked really bummed out yesterday after everyone started blaming you yesterday. Uh, what are you doing all of- so Seriously, you guys are so mean, poor- You were the one that did it! <laughs> she tried her best to encourage everyone and you sore losers got mad at her anyway. That's What's the point of bringing that up hey, again? Degenerate male. Didn't you blame Kaede first? Huh? Now it's my fault? Why are you guys ganging up on me? <laughs> you're so terrible- Yeah, he's gonna be so evil. So evil. You're so- you're too noisy. Cut it out. Jeez. But it's true, everyone blamed Kaede without taking any responsibility themselves. Uh, no. Hey, come on now. Everyone was just tired. Shut up! That's no excuse. No, it's okay. It doesn't bother me. I... It's just I should have been more considerate of everyone's feelings. Sorry. I was too focused on the tunnel, so I'm sorry. I guess you could say she had tunnel vision. Oh. Well, if you're okay with it, then so am I. Thank goodness. He's simping for sure. Uh, cool beans. Now everyone's settled. Hey. But did you blame her first? Did you did it's blame her first though? Well, that was a lie. You know, one of those lies to make up more united, to make us more united or whatever. <laughs> did you know half of my lies were actually told with good intentions? What are you saying? Now that sounds like a lie. Let's just forget about it and discuss something else. <laughs> I like how it just <laughs> comes out of the screen. Before you do that, I have an announcement. Don't just suddenly show up. It's too much stress for my heart. Oh, sorry. sorry, I didn't mean to not surprise I knew you. It. So, you did mean to surprise us? Well, your announcement? Well, I'm not terribly important, but... Or, it's not. It's easier to stay alive by being an obvious goody two-shoes, right? Being thrust into a killing game doesn't mean you'll be able to kill someone easily. So, I figured I'd give you guys a motivation. Okay, here we go. What is that. it? What is it? Okay, the first mo motive. Make sure you record this. This is gonna be good. Now then, the special motive I prepared is called the First Blood Perk. Oh, so okay. Wow! Wow! In the first murder that occurs, no class trial will be held. Can you believe it? What kind of deal is this? <laughs> That's an insane deal. I better get on that. Then someone give me a the knife. The first one to kill someone will get to graduate. No strings attached. That, okay, dude, that is crazy. Oh my god. So even if they get caught, it doesn't matter. Someone's gonna die, and then no, they can't even hold a trial? That's a, that doesn't seem fair at all. That's some bull crap. No class trial will be held? Uh, I'm sorry, I made the class trial seem more important than it really is. So for the first murder, I've decided not to hold the class trial at all. So please just relax, calm down and kill after all, the first one's free. That's all? We just gotta kill someone to get out of here? Don't. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Just calm down. You gotta be kidding me. Don't make it sound like some kind of game show bonus. <laughs> you say that, but I bet you're really happy, huh? No. There's no way I'm happy. Stop, Stop messing around. Do you think this is for fun for us? Do you really think I'd kill someone just to get out? That's wrong. In your dreams, we're not gonna lose to you. We promised each other we'd escape from this place. <laughs> Spare me your false bravado. You should be focusing on how to plan to survive. You just gotta kill someone, right? Why you? How should I put this? I see the prisoner's dilemma. However, how very clever of you, Monokuma. Huh? What's that? It's true. We all know it's better to cooperate rather than betray each other, right? But if you don't cooperate, you receive some benefit that no one else gets, like a donut. It's an incentive to betray the group to give yourself an advantage. With that in the back of all of our minds, we're we're like le we're like we're less likely to cooperate. That's Monokuma's plan to make a non-cooperative game that tanks Kayate's plan to keep us all to get us all to cooperate. Huh? What? Uh, and if a murder were to occur, it'd be even more unlikely that we'd cooperate. Terrifying. It's like he created this perk for us for that sole purpose. I bet you can't stand all this tension in the air, right? So it's better to just kill. Uh, you. It seems you were quite serious about forcing us to participate in this killing game. What exactly is your objective? Shut up! His objective doesn't matter. I'm through letting him have his way. Oh, he's not gonna do it. Oh, he's gonna try to grab him! sign! Oh, dude, look at Gonto's face. Hell yeah! Looks like we got ourselves a volunteer. Oh, Finally, it's time for the Existles. We won't let you lay a hand on Daddy. We want Daddy to smile every day. <laughs> you as beast just better pay, pay attention. This is what happens when you mess with us. What? What are you guys gonna planning on doing? Please stop! Don't! Kaito. Run! Oh, is he really gonna die? The sound of crushing metal echoed through the dining hall, and then a final gasp. <laughs> what? This is a turn of events? 
Huh? Father! <laughs> you gotta turn it you gotta turn into a pile of scrap metal! It's Monodum's fault! Wait, what's going on? I'm not sure what's going on, but Monaco is in pieces. Okay. Serves him right. He got what he deserved. It's probably just to show that he can come right back. Do not celebrate just yet. I'm certain he has a spare. How do you know? There is no spare. Don't trivialize life like that. Huh? What? When father was still alive, he used to tell us cubs that we must cherish life because we're like snowflakes and unique in every way. Well. If only one existed, then does that mean Monokuma is dead? <gasps> Poor daddy, let us at least bury him with some full honors. Yeah, we'll cook him low and slow to lock in the flavor. <laughs> While we're at it, we should toss in some carrots and potatoes too. Ah. Oh, maybe just add some leftover curry too. You know, the sweet kind of my favorite. You want an extra large side of rice too, right? That's right. Now that we're the new headmasters, we better we gotta eat so we can get stronger. They're gonna eat them? So long. Farewell. Really? They're just leaving? What's going anyway. on? Everything's a complete mess now, but if there's no final boss, then that means this killing game is canceled. <laughs> canceled? No, no. I don't think so. Monokuma's just a robot. There has to be someone controlling don't him. Don't worry. Hey, he's a smart one. Smart little cookie right there. Don't be such a worry word. Everything's definitely over now. With the mastermind gone, uh, continuing this game is pretty much impossible, so means which means we win. <laughs> I, I thought for sure that fool died. We're not in danger anymore. Uh, so do we just pick up here for the shuttle bus or to pick us up or what? Wait a minute. We don't know that yet. Kaede, quit being a buzzkill. Everyone's still annoyed but about what you did yesterday. Huh? But I didn't mean it like that. Well. So what is going to happen anyway? Don't tell me you want to take the underground passage again. Right already. Quiet. Quiet. We know it's impossible. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Uh, whatever. Looks like we're done here. What a relief. Relief. After Kokichi finished talking, we all went our separate ways. I decided to return to my room. Alright, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right there. Uh... The reason why is because I, I think these chapters are probably going to be pretty long. So the way I want to structure it is I want to do a chapter. I'm going to try to do a chapter per episode. It really just depends on how long they are. But yes, I mean, I usually record like two hours at a time. So smash like if you want next episode. 30k likes. My scrub gang, thank you for all the support. I just want to say I'm freaking excited to be playing this. And I hope you're just as excited to watch it because... I'm ready. And don't forget, buy the game if you want to play more. If you want to play ahead for yourself, buy the game. Support the creators who created this awesome series, you know? And with that being said, subscribe to, and hit the bell so you don't miss out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.